Hey everyone, it's Adrian from DraftTime.com, and in this video, I wanted to show you how to optimize your DraftKings NBA lineups while taking into consideration multiple position eligibility. Um, and then I was going to give you our lineup for tomorrow, uh, 10 25 2016, uh, which is opening tip off. So, what do I mean by multiple position eligibility? Well, DraftKings announced that this upcoming NBA season, certain players are going to be eligible for multiple positions. For instance, LeBron James is eligible to be a small forward or a power forward. Uh, CJ McCollum's eligible to be a point guard or a shooting guard, and the list goes on. So when I first found out about this, I said, man, this is going to give us uh, the chance to gain even more of an edge over the competition. Um, and why is that? Well, most other lineup optimizers out there don't take into consideration multiple player position eligibility, but ours do. And I'm going to show you a demonstration at the end of this video just how much of an edge that gives us. So a little bit about us, draft time. If anyone's familiar with us, we had a lot of success last NBA season using our lineup optimizers. I won over $60,000 last NBA season, um, and it's documented all over the place if you know, if you don't believe that, then feel free to private message me and I'll s gladly show you proof. And our lineup optimizers before were available in Microsoft Excel format. Um, and now we have these web-based optimizers, which you're looking at right now, available. Um, that way you could generate lineups on the go. Um, you don't necessarily need Excel to generate the lineups. You can do it from a mobile device, from an iPad. Um, however you want to do it. Personally, I still use the Microsoft Excel optimizers, mainly because I'm a nerd. But um, if I'm ever on the go, I'm going to use this web-based version. So in my opinion, our lineup optimizers are the best ones uh, that are out there by far. And the reason is, is because it's packed with unique features. Um, one, of the, one of the best features is the ability to import projections from other sources using a basic CSV file. Uh, that you could download the template from from our website. It, the CSV file is going to look a little something like this. You have the player name in column A, and then in column B you have the projected fantasy points, and then you simply you you save it as a CSV file, and then you upload it to our lineup optimizer, which I'll show you how right now. So um, I'm gonna you could uh, import up to three different projection sources. I'm going to start with source one, source two source three and as you can see um, these columns all update to reflect that and now you can put as much weight as you want on each of these sources um, right now I have it set for a hundred percent our own draft time projections um, but if you wanted to you could split it up however you want you could even put weight on the season average the previous five game average previous ten game averages or you could put weight on our, our floor and ceiling projections if you wanted to do that. And what that does is it allows you to generate um, you know, unique lineups or also be able to key in on guys that are you know, on a hot streak um, or who have a high ceiling or a floor. So it's a way to gain even more of an edge over the competition. I'm going to keep it set at 100% draft time projections. Um, I'm going to show you some more features first. You could exclude certain players by unchecking this uh, this box by their name, or you can lock in certain players by pressing this lock button. Another thing you could do is you could exclude entire teams by unchecking that team, and you could use all of these filters up here um, to filter for certain parameters, such as uh, minimum projection, maximum projection, minimum salary, and maximum salary. Another cool thing about our lineup optimizers is you can specify however many lineups you want to see, up to 50 lineups on our web-based optimizer, and as many lineups as you want to see on our Excel optimizers. Um, so now you're going to see not just the first most optimal lineup, but also the second most optimal lineup, uh, third most, and so on and so forth. So uh, let me go to our Excel optimizers so I could give you a demonstration of, of how it works. And then I want to show you the difference between an optimized lineup with multiple player position eligibility and non-multiple player position eligibility. So right now, in column C, I got rid of the multiple player position eligibility um, just so I can show you what the total is going to be. And as you can see, the total is 266.12 fantasy points. Um, now I'm going to add the multiple player position eligibility. Now 
which all of our optimizers come with this multiple player position eligibility. I took it out before just for purposes of this video. And I'm going to run that back. Remember, the last uh, total projection was 266.1. And now look at that, 268.0387. So it's a whole two fantasy point, points more. And it might not sound like a lot, but that's going to give you a huge edge over the competition. So if you're not using a lineup optimizer that takes into consideration multiple position eligibility, you're definitely selling yourself short <laughs> and you're not going to be able to win as much money as you would if you use a lineup optimizers like ours. So this, this lineup for tomorrow, you have Kyle Anderson, Zaza Pachulia, Carmelo, LeBron, Derrick Rose, Kawhi Leonard, CJ McCollum, and Rodney Hood. Now this is subject to change. It probably will change uh, by tomorrow because we still have a full day of projection updates that still need to happen. We update our projections in real time. But I did want to mention something. A lot of people, you know, they ask, why should I download your optimizers and pay money for it when I could get ones for free? Well, we used to offer our lineup optimizers for free, um, but they were just working so well that we will be stupid to continue to offer it for free because we want tons of money. All of our users want a ton, a ton of money. So now you have to pay for it. And you have to ask yourself, if someone, if some website is giving away their lineup optimizers for free, why would they do that if it was working and they were winning a lot of money? You have to think about that. So anyways, um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask us. We'd love to hear from you guys. And, you know, other than that, good luck.